What's up everybody, it's Luke here joining you guys for another Krill Crew video. I know it's probably been about two weeks, probably since the last season chest opening that I've done a video here. But of course, it'd be fun to open up some chests with you guys. Uh, since then, I've been just deploying away, doing a lot of Balthazar content. I have uh, mostly been for my personal stuff, not posting to this channel, but I've actually started up. I haven't told really uh, many other people yet, but I've been starting a coding channel just for fun as I learn things. It's called Luke Learns Coding. Right now, it's just TikToks and YouTube shorts. Uh, so thinking about, you know, if I really want to do more content there, what would that look like if I want to do actual videos? Or maybe even stream there. I don't even know what a coding live stream would look like. You know, like inviting you guys in to come and hang out and watch me code. Or maybe like you guys give me a coding challenge and I have to try to figure it out. Or, you know, maybe we like try to make a game together live. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to make it, you know. I, I watch coding content personally because I'm learning it. But for maybe those of you who wouldn't be interested in coding, what would you be interested in? So maybe drop a comment below if you are uh, interested in something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that would go, but maybe it'd be fun. I don't know. Uh, so that's, that's what I've been doing. Mostly, uh, my own personal time content, just because it's something different than, you know, what I'm doing the rest of the week with bouts are already covering, covering web three games. So let's open some, some chests. We'll see how much time we have after that. And maybe we can, uh, discuss that a little bit further, but this is on my scholar account. Again, this is mostly in diamond, uh, first time I've gotten the epic. I still have a lot of epics missing. I think this is the first time I actually get that taunt card. Uh, so we'll see how our decks shape up, how close we're getting now after a full month or two seasons. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good grind fest to get some of these cards. I've gotten a few cards that I'm actually starting to use. But for the most part, a lot of them still barely even touching silver, even if I have them at all. So uh, all of a sudden we're getting a bunch of fire colors. So that's interesting here. I do like fire caller, uh, especially right now my scholar account. Uh, they have a it has a Yoden delegated to me. I think that's going away this season, but uh, that's always a good card for Yoden. Uh, Coral Sentry, especially in rules where melee monsters can attack from anywhere, that's been a great one to use, especially when you get the fourth damage, which I think I have on both accounts now. More fire crawlers, more coastal sentry. Okay, so a lot of commons coming in. Swamp spitter is one that I've been using, I think, on my main because it's a gold level five right now. And having that extra repair with Kelia has been amazing. Ooh, five gold full of grunts. So that's going to level that up to, I think, level four right off the bat. Maybe even five. I think the gold foil ones are just so much easier to level up. Ooh, a good chunk of SPS there. Another swamp spitter. Two of these back to back. I almost don't want to level up my regular foils just because, for the most part, I feel like gold foils are gonna outpace them in the end. Uh, pack, Imperial Knight, and really not anything else. Of oh, okay, another gold foil. Not much else to note there. We also have a daily reward on our scholar account. But yeah, I don't know how you guys are feeling about the soul plan reward cards. Last time I said I think it's a lot of fun. It does feel a little bit grindy, especially like now that I have some cards towards that silver level. I'm like, man, it's such a steep climb to gold or diamond unless you're getting a good chunk of gold foil cards all at once. Definitely been wor working with the clockwork aid a bit for the extra speed. That's really nice. That's only one card, though, so that's kind of a bummer. And not a great pull. Okay, so we got one epic there, one epic there. Let's see how we are doing. I like the updates with the subsets and stuff now, too. That's kind of nice. So, 46 fire callers. That's going to get us to a level 5 common. Now we have this guy at 11 stacks, so we can get him to level 2. Finally, have the epic. So, you can really see, like, if we just break this down by each deck here, still missing two fire elements in general. And other than that, what we're going to have a level 5, a level 2, a level 4. So, yeah, you know, it's nothing crazy. I'm getting a lot more water on this account. This is close to level 4, but again, I already have a gold level 5 because you only need 5 BCX on this common. And then, boom, you're already automatically going to level 5 already. So, we can level up and get this to a level 3 summoner now. Uh, water's doing pretty good, though. Only missing one on my scholar account. Definitely feel like I'm uh, making better use of the water team here anyway, so that's kind of nice. 
Green missing three cards here. Nothing that I pulled in rewards that is going to make this that great, except for this guy's going to get to level five, which I haven't really found much use for him yet. I forget what he gets at the higher levels, but for gold and diamond, I haven't been a big fan of him. Return fire. So I guess if it's like a ranged only, I guess not ranged only because I couldn't play him, but if uh, like magic couldn't be played or something like that, then you, you're you going to know that they're going to either go heavy melee, which he's going to have the dodge, or he's going to return fire. However, until that point, he's kind of a weak tank because he's going to be vulnerable to magic. So, uh, I mean, the dodge is nice, but if he had a little bit more speed, then I feel like that would be really useful, but without the more speed... I'd rather have more speed than the high health, to be honest. Uh, Life Team's doing decently as well. You can see we got a lot of gold foils popping through here. Nothing crazy on the summoners yet. Uh, I did get to learn that I do get to combine my gold foil cards now on this account, which I didn't get to last time. So when you saw me pull the gold foil legendaries, I wasn't that soaked about it. But now we are combining them. And so I do have a level 3 legendary, which is nice. Again, this card... Meh, when it gets rust, I think I'll probably start using him. That'll be a good counter to Kelia. This guy is gonna get a good boost to almost level five. But yeah, I won't spend too much other time. We got three cards missing from death here on this account. We do have all three dragon cards, and then we are missing still I'm still missing uh the marks rat on this one. That's actually surprising. I've been using it on my main account quite a bit because I have gold foil. But yeah, still missing two there. So there you go. That was the Scholar account. Let's see if we can do any better on our main account. This one's been... I think both accounts were partially in gold for the season and then diamond for the rest of the season. On this account, it's about 50-50. On the other account, it's probably like more like I get to diamond for 70% of the season maybe. So... Uh, this one I'll actually get the pack, so I, I'm okay with a couple KS Legion packs. Then let's get let's get one gold foil legendary for fun. How about <laughs> Riverboat is good, but I haven't had them leveled up enough to really make use. No use for the orc yet. Imperial Knight. Oh, look at that. Okay, now I will take summoners above everything on this account because right now I only have a quick summoner and I have a Kelly of max level. So. I'm renting, you know, usually two to three other summoners. It'd be great if we could actually level up some of these summoners just as backups for when I can't play those two. And at least to gold. At least if it could help me get from gold to diamond, that'd be great. But again, we're pretty dang far away from that unless we get, <laughs> get a stack like this with the gold foil. Good chunk of merits. Seeing these two guys a lot. Uh, other than that, guys, not pulling much. Oh, we got one pack. We got one pack. Okay. Possessed Puppet. Another Loblolan. Only one, though. That would be nice if we got another good 10 stack on that. Ooh, the Dragon Summoner 9 stack. I don't know if I even had. Maybe I had a couple of these. So I haven't used the Dragon Summoner at all yet. More Possessed Puppet. Don't really care about that. Clockwork Aid. If I can get this guy leveled up. What does he get at higher levels? I forget. Swamp Spitter. But I think what I need is Gold Foil. Flinger Gold Foil. So that's kind of nice. I almost don't want to level up my <laughs> the Marty ability though. Because I just want them to die. So what's the point of leveling them up? Couple Death Summoners. So we are getting the Summoners. No Gold Foils. Which is kind of a bummer. And wow. So pretty much we're hitting all the Summoners this time around. Except for Water. And maybe we didn't get Life. I can't remember. Good chunk of merits. No good chunks of SPS on this one though. Oh, just as I say that, I'll take a I'll take a fatty 200 stack. Let's go. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> uh, might as well open up a pack here real quick if uh, it will let us. Let's see it. Don't let your dreams become me. Oh wow, that was loud. Sorry. Gold for a legendary in a pack. So we didn't get in the rewards, but it's going to come right here. This is a horrible pack. Wow, that was garbage. Okay, so that was... <laughs> what was that, like a 20 cent pack? A pack is a pack, though. I'm not going to complain. So, you know, could have sold it, but it's more fun opening it. 
All right, let's look at our soul bound, see how we are going about this. So, as I said, gold foil level five already with the fair rocks. Uh, have I found much use for him? He's been all right when I need more armor in the fire team. But ha repair, obviously, if I get that extra juicy level to repair, then I'm going to be really happy with that guy. But until then, eh, can't get this to level three yet either. So fire, we didn't really get any improvement out of, at least as of yet. Again, what's the point of uh, using all these level ups on my regular foil when I already have a gold foil level five? Riverboat captain, I could. I don't even think I had, cause I got a five stack, so I don't even think on this count I even had him yet. But I think I'm not gonna level. Well, maybe I'll level him up for the extra speed. It might be good in reverse speed and then I'll level up a gold foil later. So water on oh, this dude, see look on the water on this account, we're still missing three different possible cards. That's rough. Earth, same kind of thing. Finally though, we can get a level three summoner. So while that's not great, technically I could use that while I'm playing in gold and maybe get away with like a Quora situation. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, it's definitely possible. Fungus Flinger, though. We got a couple of those guys, so we'll get him to level 4. But again, do I really want him to have more HP? Do I just want him to die straight away and boost the stats from my other characters? That's, that's how I've typically been using Marty over every other way. Uh, this guy is still going to be one short of level 3, which is a bummer. It would have been nice to get a couple life ones. Again, missing two cards here. I have been using this one, especially on my Scholar account. I think I have level three Thorns already. So that one's kind of handy. Death, I feel like we got a decent amount of death. So this is the one poll I posted on Twitter that I did get. I did got a two stack of Legendary. So I've made good use of him once or twice. He's decent. Other than that, though, I got a frick ton of the Possessed Puppet, which I just don't even like, to be honest. <laughs> like, I guess when you have melee from anywhere, and, ah, even then, like, you, I feel like in diamond and gold, I would need the four damage. Well, I guess I couldn't do it in gold. I would need to play this and justify this in diamond. I really need a, a level nine or ten. I feel like to get that extra speed and damage. This guy's okay for rust, but again, until I have level five for inspire and stuff, I'm not gonna use him much. Really, we didn't get a ton else. We got a nice dragon. So I'll get level 3 dragon, which is not really the one I want. Not because I'm against playing the dragon gladius cards. Because there are some decent gladius cards. Especially with the magic one with double strike. But I already have quick. So I don't really need a summer. Everything else in dragon I'm missing. We also got some neutrals. Gosh, dude, like I, I feel like I didn't really progress my deck hardly at all in this season polls. I mean, I could level this guy up to level two and get one more armor. No, I can't even do that. I forget I'm one away still. So there you go. Uh, not much, not much going on in terms of Luke and <laughs> the excellent polls today. I mean, we definitely got more stacks, but the first season, you know, when you're pulling those stacks of cards... Even if it's a small amount, you're like, oh, I'm constantly leveling up these cards because you don't need that many levels at first, right? But once you get into that silver area of cards, you're like, okay, well, now I actually do need a decent amount of cards to start leveling these guys up. So we did get some good chunks of cards today, but at the same time, I feel like not really. So or not really to make any significant progress. So I feel like as more seasons go on, it's going to be that. That feeling of like okay i'm getting more cards but at the same time the the bar to get them further and further leveled up is going to be harder and harder and so it's probably going to be less exciting but then there's going to be really exciting points where you're like oh i did get that level five now i finally have inspire or now i finally have that next ability where this card is useful i think that's going to be fun but those are going to be coming probably far and few between as we start to level things up so I told you guys that I would, wow, why did that play my trailer video? 
told you guys I would respond to some comments last time since I didn't get the chance. So I think, do we have two videos now to catch up on? And then we'll hopefully, eh, this video is probably going to be another 25, 30 minutes total. So sorry, you guys, if you're not enjoying the longer videos, but hey, you know, I am making less videos. So, you know, if I make one video that's longer, maybe uh, some people will, will get to go through it. So this one was on enjoying Splinterlands again, talking about the change to Soulbound rewards and other important changes that I thought were improving gameplay. This was almost a month ago now, three weeks ago. Luke, glad to see you join the game again. Of course, shout out to Pockets, leader of the Cruel Crew Guild. You should bring back your Splinter Talk podcast. Those are really fun. I really do miss hanging out with Jim, Steve, Bulldog. Well, was Bulldog ever on? Maybe Bulldog was on once. I, I've done other stuff with him, but I don't know. Was he on? <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, I definitely miss it. I definitely don't have the time or capacity, especially with the coding content that I'm doing. So as much as I'd love to do the Splinter Talk show again, I don't think it's going to happen. I've been joining the YGG guys from time to time, so you can jump in there. But uh, I want to. I'm tempted, but I, I, it's not going to happen. Sorry, Pockets. Uh, I've noticed my battles are now taking more time to find an opponent. I, that is something that I've noticed, and I don't know. Uh, we talked about some of the battles going down in numbers i don't know if that's actually bot farms turning off you know we've seen some some people have told me that you know bot farm owners are selling their accounts things like that i don't know it's interesting you know is it the soulbound rewards is it you know is are the changes actually mattering are some people just getting out while they can you know i've seen some good bcx deals coming back on max level chaos legion cards i don't know so I, I like this one change to add some bots to novice and bronze that they're running themselves and not getting rewards to help that whole onboarding player experience. But there definitely seems to be less and less matches or less and less quick matches in diamond and high gold. I don't know if people are experiencing that in silver and stuff as much, but that is an interesting thing to note. Uh, the game has never been better than right now. Need cards and abilities, rule sets, soulbound rewards, seem the bots to throw the bots off. Easy to pick up max cards for a few bucks. We have to earn them now. Agree, Jeremiah. Basketball, geeked out basketball. Great fit. I'm also going to learn code and build a game. Woo, let's go. What tech stack are you learning? So I've not, I've barely touched HTML and CSS. I want to learn a little bit more, but I've been mostly in C Sharp and Python. So it looks like uh, you are as well. Nice. Yeah, it's been fun. So you'll have to let me know more about your coding journey. Geeked out basketball. Love to hear it. I uh, hope this continues to positive changes. Yeah, agree, agree. People never have patience. They want everything now. Well, of course I want everything now. What do you mean? I want a game. Or I'm a millionaire. I have fun. I get to quit my job. Well, I don't want to quit my job but you know you know what i mean like i just don't have to work unless i want to <laughs> because a game is making me a million bucks you know <laughs> patience and splinters will pay off it's not a quick fix profit game it's an opportunity to build a business over time so merlin's matrix that's where i'd say i would disagree in terms of my perspective i definitely don't disagree with your statement but the point i've been trying to get across in my last few videos is that i'm not seeing it as an investment i'm not seeing it as a business i'm seeing it as a game a tcg that i enjoy if assets go up, great. If assets go to zero, okay. Oh, well, right? Because I'm treating it more as an entertainment product. Um, some people are, you know, treating it as a business or an investment. That's totally fine. But that's just not my perspective. Uh, crypto College. The emotional response to winner is not immediate. Precisely me winner for years. Cycle, blah, blah, blah. Just like bull market causes euphoria. It's not a bad thing. We just need to recognize it. That's why everyone's here during the winters and for the long haul because they love something other than gains. Nice. Well said. Yeah. I mean, again, I don't think it's necessarily the crypto winter has got me down. I think, as I said before, the crypto winter has helped me to see things in a different perspective instead of being caught up in the euphoria, which is what I like how you said that. So if I can make something money while doing something I love, yeah, that would be great. But if it go again, if it goes to zero, Oh, well, you know, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to be fine. So yeah, I like how you said that. I think, uh, for me, it's not just surviving the winter so I can get to the good, you know, euphoric stage again. It's more so, ah, actually my, my stance and perspective has changed and I'm just going to enjoy the game. Three gold falls first day. Let's go. Nice pull. Four conversion of splinter to experiment with. 
because I'm not that good at coding. And uh, as Pocket says, you can't fork it unless they have given us the source code. So if I, you know, get actually good at coding where I can build a game, maybe I'll, you know, be like Splinter Forge, but probably not. I don't think that's probably going to be any time in my skill set soon. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Good. Thank you, Dark Knight, Crip, Scott, Bon, and Sandor. Nice to have you back. Enjoy. Thank you guys for the warm welcome. I It's funny because just because I haven't been making content on it, it's like people think that I quit the game, but I've, I've never quit the game. I've still been playing this whole time. All right, let's see if we can quickly get through video from two weeks ago. It doesn't look like as many comments. I'll admit I was pessimistic about the Soulbound reward cards, but I'm having fun with them. Also realized today, over time, I'll own higher level summoners than I currently own at zero cost, essentially. No will allow me to play better cards at higher levels. Yes. That is that's that is one interesting argument, right? It's like you can be like, oh, no, people aren't going to buy cards anymore because we're printing out all these Soulbound cards. And, you know, I've seen the arguments that maybe we are printing too many of them. There's, you know... 46 i think cards so like yeah you can look at that and be like wow most people if they had all those soulbound cards maxed out could get away with playing up in some of the higher leagues with mostly just soulbound cards but you're still going to need on you know the most hand a few other cards from each deck or you know you, you're not really have much to play with so either you're going to have to buy other chaos legion cards which are cheap right now or you're going to have to rent so it's kind of the argument of like does this hurt the economy or does it make it better because it incentivizes you to build out your deck and then go out to go purchase or rent those other things now that you're enjoying the game? I don't know. It's uh, I'm not smart enough to figure it out. <laughs> Best end of season rewards I've had. Loving the new rewards. Heck to the naysayers. I'm interested to see now, David and others, how you guys feel about this season rewards because my experience just pulling there, I was like, yes, this is exciting still, but also like, man, I'm not getting the like level up of the cards that I, you know, the rush of that the first season. So I wonder if any opinions will be changing. I I'm still having fun with it, though. Don't, don't get me wrong. Over time, you have more than a decent deck, and uh, potion utility is great on top of that. Yeah, that is nice. I haven't. I feel like in diamond, I'm still getting way more potions than I'm using. But I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it just does also feel like I've stacked up so many potions that when I get potions, I don't really care. It's not like oh, I got potions, so now that my next chest will be better. It's like cool. I have so many freaking potions. Whatever. <laughs> You're able to win with Gobson Bomber only because Coral was OP tank. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not a great card. I think once it gets piercing, it could be all right. But the recharge is just... Most of the time, recharge just doesn't get doesn't get you what you want. Three gold foil lucky. Congrats. You obviously didn't notice three copies of gold foil legendary. Yeah, I know. I didn't notice it at first. But the second part was on the Scholar account, we weren't decided if we were actually combining gold foils. We were told at first, hey, let's not combine those only regular foils. So even though I got it, I wasn't <laughs> excited about it. I don't think I said that in the last video. But now that we're combining it, I was like, yes, yeah, sweet. Okay, now this is you know a gold level legendary. So yes, that's pretty sweet. Krill opening champion chest, LOL. Yeah, LOL, right? Uh, you got three gold foil legendary. For what else do you want? Yeah, exactly. So I, I didn't see that at first, to be fair, as you guys pointed out, but... At the same time, I also wasn't combining them. So, anyways, we'll wrap it up there. A little less than a half hour this time. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Maybe if I actually do some of those coding videos or streams, I'll let you guys know. Uh, as far as this channel, you know, probably this is going to be the, the channel where I do a video a week or every other week or something. Just to kind of connect with you guys and have some fun. Read your comments. Show a little Splinterlands rewards. I don't know what else we got going. We'll see. And I uh, hope you guys are all having a lovely time. Much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in other videos of the content, Discord, Twitter, all those great things. Peace out. Enjoy, everyone.